Hey, how's it going everybody? For today's video, we're going to be doing something that's probably, I hope not, but I can see making me really mad. So the purpose of this video is to use cards that either have terrible swings or have had nothing but horrific luck. So in the outfield, we got Al K line. Now I did ask Twitter a couple of questions about who are some of the cards that you guys think have the worst swings. And obviously I have my opinions too, but Al K line I've seen two people claim that he was a goat, but then everybody else, including me, thinks he is straight buns. I, m I remember using him and his exit velocities were just absolutely pathetic. As you can see from his stats, he's hitting 182 in three games. Obviously still a small sample size, but still not that great. Eric Davis in center field. Never have I ever used this card this year. But I've heard nothing but great things. Sarcasm heavily intended. In right field, we got a player that in real life, obviously being an Angels fan, I love. But he sucks. And if you can see what I'm looking at, let me move my head just real briefly. Oh, that's the wrong way. Three games hitting zero. A flat zero. His swing irritates me beyond all belief. Jeff Bagwell, uh, surprisingly, I did okay with him in a small sample size two games. But year in and year out. At first base, one of the worst swings. And we already know the channel's favorite, DJ LeMayhew, stinks. He sucks. This is one of my favorite players in real life that is not an angel. Again, I'll say it that when he was a Rocky, he was my favorite player that was not an angel. But, I mean, again, still love him. I just hate his card. When I saw this card, I was so excited. Then realized I hated his swing this year. Matt Williams. Good stats his late leg kick is stupid annoying and this is the only card that i think might be you know the quote-unquote hot take anthony rendon i don't think i could get anything going with him when i use him for five games he only hit 250 for me he's also got kind of that late leg kick and he's closed off i couldn't get anything going with him let me know if you think i'm insane for that but at third base from what i was looking at and trying to figure out i think he's got the worst swing now when it comes to behind the plate this is where things were actually a little bit different because usually everyone's first answer about worst catchers is mike piazza obviously if you've been around this channel i've done really good with him and i'll be honest i don't know how i agree he's got a terrible swing but i want cards that are i'm gonna struggle with heavily and one of the ones that i did horrific with in budget beast was russell martin he like everyone else here, sucked. On the bench, we got the 94 Ralph Kiner. That's uh, a pretty universal one. Here might be a hot take, but again, I think I've seen a lot of people mention Andrew Jones's swing. Yikes. So we do have at least one lefty bat because as you look at the lineup, they are all righties. I repeat, they are all righties. But there is one lefty bat that I, I haven't used Dave Parker, either of his cards, but according to the Twitter poll, Dave Parker seems to not really have that great of a swing. Jonathan Lucroy, again, pretty universal, but I'll be honest, I've done better with Lucroy than I have Russell Martin. So that's why he'll be on the bench. And then I couldn't think or find anybody else. I haven't used Brooks Robinson this year, but I just know the last two, three years, he always delivers terrible exit velocities because of his swing. And yeah, to be honest, again, I, I hated this swing in years past, so hopefully it's the same. So let's go ahead and see how bad this can get. We are rated 834. May we be lucky and pull off a W. You know, it'd be great that we're able to pull off a Mercy. That would be awesome. We're going to be playing Roasted in Tempe. He's got Walter Johnson on the mound. He's got himself, obviously, a God Squad. You got Honus Wagner. You got yourself a God Squad. And for whatever reason, the man's using Silver Joe Torrey. That could be a glitch. He could still have the Diamond Joe Torrey, which is still weird considering you have Honus. All right, you bunch of nightmares. Let's get a W. All right, that is not a beautiful swing. But you know what is beautiful? Getting that to fall in for a triple. What a start. What a beautiful start. This is something you love to see because it don't happen. Yeah, so Eric Davis, not going to lie. I haven't used him before. Not a fan of that swing. And here is... Here's, here's DJ. DJ's gonna do what DJ does, which is, again, still zero. The man is so bad. Out number one. Out K-line to right field. First pitch swinging. That is gonna be a fly out to right. Out number two. Jeff might as well be on the toilet considering his stance, but you know what? Maybe it works. It works real nice. This is going to be so bad. It is going to go so terrible. And you know what's even better? We got DeGrom on the mound. So 
We're going to need to score runs because DeGrom, I don't think, has had, except for one time, one good start. So we'll see how this goes, but uh, I can't imagine it's going to go well on either front now. He was super late on that last fastball. Let's go ahead and see if he's ready this time. Blow my hair! 2 1. There's a fat oopsie. That's going to be a base hit up the middle. I mean, at least I think the defense is good. I don't remember any of the defensive stats. I know Eric Davis has good stats. Al K line and left. Whoever our right fielder was, kind of already forget. Because to me, they're irrelevant. Let's go gas up and in. Uh, hey Probably really stupid to throw a changeup right now. And it was. But you know what? DeGrom eats baseballs for a living. And we do have a 1-0 to zero lead after one. And I'm shocked. Oh, great. Here... Love you in real life. Hate you the most in this game. Jay up the other way is not going to be able to get a base hit. Like I said before, this is going to be so hard to sneak in hits. It is going to be so difficult. Matt Williams a dead center field. All right, that's at least a good at bat. That was at least a good at bat. Just unfortunately hit right to Ty Cobb for out number two. We should have to do our best to look away from the swing. I wish there was a way you could zoom in even more so you didn't see what is going on on either corner of your screen. Rendon, okay. The last two at bats, very, very solid. We just, we're going to need everything we can get. 0 1, the two seam shows that it's going to have crazy movement. That's good pitch. Welcome to the club. Our opponent is also going to hit it hard to center field for out number one. And Eric Davis, you have a terrible swing. You're supposed to have good defense. Come on, buddy. Full count. I'm going to go with the pitch that so far has worked. Gas up and in. Give me that free firewood. Russell Martin out number two. Let's go. Good slider. Good pitch. And he's going to hit it up the middle. It's going to find a hole. Let's see if this is going to lead to anything. He really is using the silver Joe Torre. Is he doing a challenge of his own? I, I am legitimately confused. I have never seen anybody with Honus Wagner and then use a silver. Russell Martin, did he do anything with it? Oh, okay. Like I said, he may not have an absolutely terrible swing, but this card stinks for me. All right, DeGrom, I think you legitimately have the best swing on this team. We're going to need you to carry the load. Dude, see, this is what I'm saying. It may just be me, but when somebody's got a good swing, I do great. Bad swings, I suck. Eric Davis getting a base hit. We need these runs bad. And this rally, if we do get runs, you better understand it's starting from DeGrom. You already know this. DJ LeMay, who's hitting a double play. He doesn't hit anything with authority. Yeah, say that he hits a high and deep for a fly out, but I don't even know if we... We're going to go at Ty Cobb's got a noodle. We'll send DeGrom over to third. A base hit literally will score one. Al Kaline and <laughs> we That's what we're going to have to rely on. We snuck a ground ball through the hole. We have two runs. Come on, Jeff. I've, I've never asked anything from you in my life. You got this. You can at least hit a gap and score one. Jesus. Jeff, did he get all of it? It was a fastball down the middle. Is it gone or is it a deep fly out? What is it going to be? It is gone. Jeff delivers 5-0. to zero. And I uh, don't know how he delivered on that either because good okay tanks, no PCI placement. Name of the game. Justin Upton's hitting the ball hard too. We're doing our best to overlook and just stare at the pitcher. No animation, just stare at the pitcher. Matt is also, he's going to scream it over the second, much better inning compared to the last two. Much, much better. But we do have ourselves a 5-0 to zero lead. Can DeGrom keep it? 0-2 oh, to Teddy Testicles. Can we get him with a slider low and in? Okay. 2-2, two, two, our opponent showing a good eye right now, and I don't know where that's going. Here, Here we go, DeGrom. Keep it coming, baby. DeGrom's looking good so far this game. And Eric Davis, much better look on that routine fly ball out number two. Well, we're going to try and throw a slide piece low and away. Good pitch, good spot, and he's all over that one. DJ LeMayhew doesn't make an error. That's also shocking. Oh, the reason why I hate Rendon's swing, he loads so early. Like, he gets his initial leg kick in so early, and then when he puts it down, it is so stupid late. All right, two pitches, two outs. All right, DeGrom, it's up to you. Can you get the party started yet again? And I would imagine this time is probably not happening. 
DeGrom roped it. Pitchers who rake. Dude, the last three videos, my pitchers are going off. And then Eric Davis, he's trying to challenge him. Stay fair, ball. <laughs> Eric Davis the other way. This time, though. Wait, is it going to be foul again? Come on. Ah, damn it. 2-2. Two, two. Let's bring in that gas. Lowing in. Good pitch. Yeah. Yeah. Roasted is literally only gambling fastball now. We just got to locate this change up or don't. That's fine. As long as we can put it on the outside corner, we will get the strikeout. But if we keep putting it over the heart of the plate to Grom, remember, outside corner, better. Then look what happens. DJ LeMayhew Diamond Defense is acting like it. Out number two. Oh, two. Let's surprise him with it. The gas, good spot, blow it by my hia. DJ got a base hit. It only took him. I don't know how many games I tried with him, but it took him a while. Al K line that's, that's still gonna be a double play, even though they ate him up. That's that's great of you, Al K line. Jeff to right field, a no doubt shot. That is the only pitch. I am probably going to be able to hit with Jeff Bagwell is off speed because a fastball with that swing is easily going to eat me alive. And then Justin Upton. Oh my God. Everyone's showing up today magically. 72 speed should be easily turning that into a double. This game's going a lot different than I thought it would have. I mean, it started off the exact way I thought it was going to have to happen. But right now, everyone's showing up. And is that going to fall down? That is not. It's going to be right to Babe Ruth. But we do get another solo shot. 1-1. One, one. Let's go ahead and attack him up and in again. Let's go ahead and... Oh, no. All right. Not... Uh, I mean, let's be honest. That was a terrible pitch. Let's go to Grom. Let's locate. Let's give him what he wants. A gas cheese inside. Yeah! I would love to truly understand why Joe Torre's in this man's lineup. I... I've seen some weird stuff. This is by far... I there's something i'm not understanding and maybe that's why because that way that, that thing was smoked are we gonna get him out a second we are not okay dj lemay who's had a pretty busy day over at second can we score three runs and get a potential mercy with this beautiful team rendon i thought he was getting a base hit i guess not and you know what? That's the key with Russell Martin. Don't try and do good square to get it jammed a little bit. You'll find some grass. All right, DeGrom, you've hit a tank. You've also had a single that started a rally. Can you do it again? DeGrom, uh, we had our PCI there, but we were a tad late. If we had our timing right there, I think we had another nuke. Yep, we were all over it just late. But Eric Davis, let's get the timing down with you. That's... Not a pitch I ever want to see in my life ever again. You know what? I don't want to say his swing's the worst, but it still sucks. We still maintain a seven-run lead, and if we keep throwing that there, don't think that's going to keep keep being a seven-run lead. And who's in right? Because I thought we had all good defense. We actually have Justin Upton in right field. I forgot, but it, oh, there's... There's a double upped in, maybe. Show the cannon, maybe. Full count. We're just going to attack him. See what happens. And it is going to work out in our favor yet again for out number two. Let's go fastball. We're going to go right back to that up and in pitch. It's been working. It's been working great. We are still three runs away from the mercy. Can we this inning find a... Can he give me off speed? DJ LeMahieu up the middle. That's what I'm used to with him. If he did hit it well, it was that. Yeah, yeah. Look at that exit velocity from DJ. What an absolute stud. What an absolute monster. And who was that? Was that Al K-Line? That thing was a bomb. Okay, clearly it did. At least when Al K-Line squares it up, he's going to go Yabo. And Jeff Bagwell is now going to split the gap. Here we go. We're going to turn that into a double. All right, Upton, let's do... Let's do what you do sometimes for the Angels, and that's drop a nuke. And that's that's bad. Oh, no. That is, we rolled that one over, although he pump faked it. And unfortunately, we're still going to be out. We do score one more yet again. We keep finding a way to get a random solo shot. 
Now I'm curious, is this Jimmy Fox the 99 or is this, that is, he has the 99 Jimmy Fox and then he drives it all the way to deep center field, 410 plus feet for an out. O2, we're going to try and see if he's over aggressive. Oh. Oh, I don't care how over aggressive you are. Uh, change up down the middle. Not going to go well. 1-1, one, one, we're going to go ahead and throw that two seam inside. Good pit. Oh. Good pitch. Good hit. I mean, great hit. Come on, DeGrom. You've been in worse situations. Let's get ourselves out of it. And we're going to get the rollover out from Joe Torre. I am curious, at the end of this video, who is going to be the one who's done the worst? Is it going to be Rendon? Because I think he's still hitless. Yeah, I mean, again, if some of you like Rendon, I don't know how you psychopaths do it, but good for you. Russell Martin does it again, and this time he's going to find the gap and it's going to be a double. He is finally doing something, and it's so nice. DeGrom, you're cruising. You've done amazing things up at the plate. I hope you hit another nuke. Dude. Dude. What is there to say about DeGrom? I mean, I wish he had, like, a sinker and a couple. I mean, just, like, the true elite pitches. The man breaks. Eric is going to roll it over, but is going to find the hole. And 25 speed might be getting absolutely gunnied at third. But we're not. You know why? Because DeGrom's too good. Speaking of too good, here is DJ LeMahieu, the man. Phenomenal in this game. I, I want nothing more to be good with DJ LeMahieu. I really wish I could be. I just, I can't. Come on, okay, line. We can do it again. Okay, we are still going to get the base hit. First and second. Two down. We could get extra insurance. Really try and make sure we get that mercy. Come on, Jeff. My name is Jeff. Go off me, ball. Oh. Yeah, no, I, his swing. Who is this? Who did he just bring off his bench? Number nine, who are you? That would be Enos Slaughterhouse. So on 01, you know what? Let's go ahead and attack him. Up and in gas cheese. Ho, 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 ho. Yeah, he's ready. Oh, two, dirty change. Good pitch to Grom. You got common fielding. I don't know how. Let's go ahead and throw it over to first out number one. Let's go ahead and go back to that gas cheese up still. Okay, I think he's understanding that I've been really trying to attack him first pitch every single batter. He made me pay for it. Let's go ahead and change it up a little bit. Let's throw a slider. Good pitch. And that is going to fall in. So he does get one run back. Eric Davis with no hose. 13 to 1. We still got two runs to play with. Oh, no. Oh, my God. Tell me. Tell me we're going to catch that. We are Justin Upton with the range. Let's go to ground fastball away. He's going to drive it to deep center field, and that is going to do it for us. We end up winning this game 13 to 1 in the eighth. We get the mercy. Who is our player of the game? Jeff Bagwell. That's also surprising, considering I didn't really do too hot with him ever. Jeff Bagwell went four for five, three tanks, and seven ribbies. Oh my God. Al K line, three for five, a home run, two reviews. Eric Davis, three for five with that glitchy triple in the first. Russell Martin, two for four. First two hits I've had with him in probably 10, 10 or so games. We're going to go ahead and take a look at the box score. Who went over for us today? Williams, 0 for 4. Rendon, 0 for 4. Not a shocker. DJ LeMahieu, even at least DJ got one hit, but the person who carried the load was Jeff Bagwell with those seven ribbies. Literally, 11 of our runs came in the two through four spot. LeMahieu had two RBIs. K-Line had two RBIs. Bagwell with seven. And DeGrom. DeGrom got more RBIs and hits than literally six of our batters and realistically he only did worse than one and that was bagwell he either did as good or better than everyone that's a pitcher who rakes if you guys would like to see another video of cards that have terrible swings let me know in that comment section not only of cards that you think i may have missed but like what cards have really terrible swings thank you guys for watching today's video if you enjoyed today's content please leave a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel y'all have a good day thank you